What's going on guys? Welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey. Last time my friends we began our adventure once again here in the Mushroom Kingdom. As you can see we have a lot of the power moons here. Today we are going to be going through all of the posters in this kingdom and rebattling all of the bosses from previous kingdoms except this time around they're a little bit harder. That is the gimmick. They have to make them a little bit more difficult than the first time otherwise there would be no challenge. So that's what we're doing today but before we begin you already know the drill drop a like on this video and don't forget to answer the comment question of the day last time i asked you guys to share with me some of your new year resolutions and here are some of the responses we got today's comment question of the day is who is your favorite kingdom boss and you cannot pick bowser i know some people are gonna be like my favorite boss is bowser on the moon kingdom well he's you know disqualified from this little competition that we're having here uh, because obviously he's most likely going to be the fan favorite if I had to pick one I would definitely say it's Bowser, but it's not Bowser I'm gonna show you guys who my favorite boss of all the kingdoms are and which one's my favorite one to play in just a sec before I do that though, I need to change some outfits. Well, I guess I gotta change my outfit, not some outfits. It's only one man's outfit that I'm changing. And I guess I'm gonna go ahead and put on the, you know, classic Luigi outfit. Actually, I don't even know if that would look well, to be honest, in this episode. I mean, I'm probably gonna save, not this one, but the tux for the final episode. Um, I just really don't know what to wear now. Maybe I could just go back to being classic Mario. We haven't had a good old classic Mario episode in quite some time. Every single kingdom I've been to, I've always always worn the uh, the designated apparel for that kingdom and you know I don't really show this one off I personally would have to say this is probably my favorite costume in the game because it's literally 2017 Mario this is how Nintendo intended Mario to look like in 2017 and that's why I love him you know it's just this is this is the updated Mario this is the newest version of Mario that we know of not any of the other outfits those are just you know outfits unlike this which is an actual you know Mario costume and whatnot so anyways the first uh, little thingamajig is actually located right over here this is the first door and we got some lunch and kingdom civilians surrounding this place so obviously if you couldn't put one and one together it's going to be this bird from the lunch and kingdom so I've never actually done any of these even on my practice file I still haven't played these um, this is the first time I'm doing this and uh, I haven't played them since you know the first time I battled them in the original kingdom that they were in so that's why I'm a little bit nervous but at the same time I think we could do this but I have to say this one is my favorite boss to play in this entire game because it is extremely unique not saying like the other ones aren't unique they're 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 very unique for sure but this one in my opinion has like a special uniqueness to it considering um, that literally you're playing with the fireball you're in the luncheon kingdom um, and you're in this giant pot of stew. It just, it seems like, it definitely seems like something Mario like for sure. And I like how they actually, like in, uh, in other different bosses as well, you're gonna see that we have to use like certain, um, you know, certain, what's it called, abilities or capture abilities to fight the bosses but this one is definitely one that you have to stick to using the fireball you can't even come out for a second and the fireball has to be the one that you're possessing this entire time all right whatever it's all good this guy spits durians dude i like it, it reminds me a lot of breath of the wild uh because they have you know hardy durians like that everywhere it's actually it's, it's like one of the best foods in the game literally you just cook it you eat it you get like 20 hearts like your full hearts replenish and you get like yellow hearts which you know are hearts that you don't actually own but they give them to you because of how delicious well i guess nutritious rather these things are so i thought it was pretty cool how they had them like you know throwing them out here you know i thought that was pretty dope i like it when they collide universes like that together i don't know if those they, they definitely look like durians but i don't want to say they did it because of breath of the wild because i actually don't know i don't want to you know spew false facts and end up looking like a liar to you guys because that's not what i'm trying to do here and we did it guys we defeated the giant bird i don't remember his name but i'm gonna be putting like little um like name tags at the very beginning of each boss fight so you guys know exactly the name of the boss and where to find the boss in this game so 
This guy's from the Luncheon Kingdom, and he gave us a couple, of, or I guess a, a, a just a set of multi moons. Now the thing is, these multi moons only account for one moon technically. You'll just see the power moon on the list of power moons, and it'll have like a little three next to them. It actually could be three power moons. Let me actually take a quick look here. Like I said, I've never done this before, so this is the first multi moon that I've collected here in the Mushroom Kingdom. It would be dope if they give you three of them. I mean, I don't see why they wouldn't, considering what. Did they not? I guess they didn't, but just to quickly show it off, if you go all the way up here, you'll see that, okay, what the heck, man? There it is. See, blow up Mount Volbono rematch. Three power moons we got from that one, but it only counted it as one. That's, that's very strange. I don't know why, but as you saw, that was a pretty easy boss battle. I mean, I was expecting something much harder, but luckily the game gave us a little something easy and that's, that's what I like. How come Mario, every time he's like on surface water, he's always so, so shiny. He's not as shiny as he is on the surface or uh, as he looks like as soon as he gets out of water as he is like while he's in the water, but this is a this is gonna be a fun rematch actually my younger brother was telling me about this one how he's in the sky and how he's a little bit harder so i'm gonna test it out myself and see if he truly is harder than uh, he looks but anyways as you can see we are literally in the sky now you might be wondering how exactly are you supposed to do this in the sky well pretty much the rain that is uh that's pouring around us is just giving us water constantly so we're not gonna run out of water anytime soon at least i don't think so because of the fact that we do have the rain all right so i'm gonna just you know fly up higher okay what the heck bro uh does that work i guess that works you know and then i guess i gotta go this way there you go so it actually does work i didn't know that all right and then you just gotta just spew it all over his head nope nope you gotta let me finish dude you gotta let me finish there you go very nice thank you so much all right says cappy now this guy is going crazy as you can see, he's just spinning around in the clouds. This is so much fun. I was actually thinking, what if there is a segment in the game where you're allowed to, like, you're able to use this, um, this guy, ups, whatever his name is, and, uh, use him perpetually like this in flight. And turns out there is a level. It's a boss fight. And it's actually a pretty dope boss fight for that matter. So I'm going to try once again to get some air elevation. And then hopefully just, you know be above his head while I do this. Oh, yeah. Just, you know, give him a brain aneurysm. There you go. Oh, look at that, dude. His head is so red, and it looks like it hurts so bad from all the, the abuse that we're causing this poor octopus and whatnot. But the last phase... All right, this is the phase that I'm going to have to work extra hard on. Um, because as you can see, he's, like, at my level now. So I have to... Oh, I have to shoot him like that. There you go. So I got to go back at him and then shoot him in the face. There you go. That's how it's supposed to be done. The reason I know this is because I took tips from my younger brother, thankfully. You know, I, I had to make sure, you know, if there's anything that is of useful information, I knew of it. Because, you know, you don't want to end up wasting your time, you know, on one of these guys. Oh, my gosh. There you go. Come on. Oh, that was close. We almost had it. I don't know how, exactly how much they expect you to do, but... Oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I don't want him to accidentally take away my... Oh! No! Oh, that was close. Okay, let's try that again. Let's try that again. Let's get close. I want to keep my 4 HP so I don't have to buy an extra, you know, HP thing. Oh, come on, dude! How is it this difficult? Just to, to get around him. There you go. It's like he's on the verge of dying, man. Like, he really is. All right, we can just spin like this. There you go, finally! Man, I just don't want to get too close to him. That's my whole problem. It's just not getting too close to him because if I do, he would have lasted me in the face, and then I would have ended up with three, uh, you know, health bars rather than four. The thing is, if you have the fourth one, uh, and then I go ahead and get, like, a, a power moon or a multi moon, whatever you want, you'll actually end up getting back to four, like to six. So you can save yourself 100 coins rather than spending it buying more, you know, health. You could just go ahead and get one of these and replenish your HP. But you have to be cautious about not losing, you know, the, the, the additional three that you have because if you do, it's not going to come back. And that's, that's just all I've been trying to do. And it looks like they gave us three power moons, actually, for this one. 
Um, but yeah, in the game, in the Mushroom Kingdom, it only counts as one. How does that work? I don't know, but we ain't gonna question it. So that was the second boss. Four more to go. So far, everything is looking pretty good. We've had no deaths, and uh, honestly, the two that we've taken so far are the ones are, like are some like that I don't expect deaths on. The only one that I would honestly have to say that I expect to die on would be the Mecha Wiggler boss fight. And uh, you know, I'll try to save him for like the second to last, uh, so then that way we can enjoy ourselves and not stress ourselves out. But moving on, the next boss is going to be located up on this ledge over here so you support you're supposed to use pretty much this uh this beanstalk vine thing to climb all the way up to the top just like that look how fast he goes when you shake the control he's like oh, 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 oh. it's like it's like hot potato man he's trying not to touch the vine for a long period of time but yeah this is uh this is gonna be an easy one this is the flower boss from secret flower field boo pickle and uh what's it called um in the wooded kingdom look at this thing dude so all we need is one of these guys and look at that they put some of those uh things next to us those those, those things pretty much send off those circle beams that attack you and take some damage so hopefully we're not victims of that um i'm just gonna try to kill this flower thing as quickly as i can and honestly you know this is one of the the most fun bosses i've played in this game Honestly, like, I've had no issues with any of the bosses that I've played in the game, to be honest with you guys. Like, every single boss fight has been good. You know, the, the toughest bosses, I will... Actually, that's not even true, man. I played the, uh, the dark side again, uh, recently, and it was actually really easy. Um, and I was surprised, like, man, how is this gonna... Like, how did I think this was hard back in the day? Maybe I guess back in the day because of the, uh... Like, the gravity confusion in certain kingdoms, it just made it a little bit difficult, but... Anyways, we got this thing. Oh my gosh, there you go. So, I totally screwed that up. I, I don't know how I ended up, you know, not taking any damage. There you go, okay. I'm surprised again, like, I screwed that up big time, but yet, you know, they let me live, which is good. I'm not gonna complain about it. I'm gonna just take it. Oh! Leave, leave me alone, leave me alone! There you go, and then he's gonna activate that one. And then I'm gonna just stand here in the corner and just destroy him. Just like that, dude. I was about to say that, man. It's just it's just the most common thing that comes to mind when you do something that's of accomplishment. You're just like, just like that. Woohoo! Oh, that's how it's done. That was actually pretty dope. You just jump in the middle of them. See, as they intersect, that's when you jump and you free yourself. Alright, go ahead and get a head start. Bust that one down. Dude, I'm surprised, man. We're taking no damage on this boss fight. He is not touching us whatsoever. We are immune to this thing. All right, one more hit. There you go. Just from underneath. Go ahead and bang Shazam. We killed you, you stinking little flower. I don't even know if we're technically in the Wooded Kingdom. It looks very dark outside, and it's actually kind of spooky. Get me out of this place, man. I want to leave, and I'm not leaving until I grab myself the multi-moon. Look how excited Cappy is, you know, handing it to me, spinning it around. This guy loves his moons. He's like, mm, I love me my moons. Give them to me. Struggle in Steam Gardens. You know, I didn't struggle at all, but I guess, you know, the uh, that, that weird UFO-like ship was struggling to defeat me, and it couldn't. It died, so it sucks for that. So, moving on. Three more to go. We are halfway done with this. That is fan diddly tastic. Uh, now, the question is, where is the next guy? That's that's a great question. Um, I think the next one is located... I think I might have actually passed it. I might have to look one of them up, to be honest, because I'm not going to act like an expert and know exactly where all of them are off the top of my head. Um, the thing is, I know I'm going to be missing one. Uh, let me see. It, this one's there. That's back to the Odyssey, so we literally just went around in a whole 360 circle. Okay, so this one's gonna be Mecha Wiggler, I know that. So I gotta find the other one. Alright guys, I found it. As you can see, there is another one of these little hut things over here, and it's surrounded by these guys from Tostarina! So obviously, 
we're going to be taking on the Sand Kingdom boss. I'm just trying to gauge exactly where this was. Wow, I totally passed this. I went coming up from here, and I just went all the way straight over there without really paying much attention to this spot. But here it is, another boss for us to fight. And this guy is known as Knuckle Tech. I know that one because he's, in fact, the first boss that I recognize the name for, or I guess learned the name of when playing this game. And again, I haven't battled him since the very beginning of the game, but pretty much he is a pretty straightforward boss. You know, he's mad that we took his ring. In this case, I don't know if he's mad that we took he's mad that we took his ring or not, because at this point it's back in Toast Arena. Maybe this is just you know a mirage and a, a, a terrible nightmare that Mario is having right now. But anyways, you want to go ahead and ground pound. Oh gosh, I didn't even expect these things to come out of the ground. What the heck? All right, go ahead and drop, 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 drop. All right, there you go. Oh, there's so many. All right, there you go. We got it. We got it. We possessed it. All right, I'm coming for you. Woo oh, no. On the face, sucker boy. All right, I got a little too carried away over here. I just don't want to take a hit, man. Honestly, like, that's probably the worst thing that could possibly happen to you is taking a hit by accident, especially from these little mummy things. You know, that's definitely the last thing on my agenda that I would want to happen. Oh, my goodness. Leave me alone. Please do not do this. I am begging you. I am not trying to do any of this. Oh, come on. Okay, can I possess myself? Oh, can I possess it? There you go. All right, there we go. We're coming. We're coming. We're coming. We're coming. Oh, yeah. Nice. One more hit. Now, what are the chances that I'll get hit four times right now? Probably not really much chance that that will happen. Okay, maybe it will. I'm down to my, you know, my regular three. Uh, I've been spoiled a lot, as you guys could see. Oh! Oh, my gosh. Oh! There you go. All right, we just got to wait. One more hit, one more hit, one more hit. No! Dude, leave me alone! These guys are crazy! Oh, my gosh. All right, I got I to gotta possess it. There you go. Can I actually kill him right now? That would be pretty dope if I could. Oh, we did it. We did it. That means I have to go back and I have to get another one of those extra live thingamajigs, you know, for the last two bosses. Because there is no way I intend on doing this with just this one life, you know, or even three. I need to replenish myself to the maximum. This is it, guys, the end of the game. We need to enjoy it. I need to have fun doing this, not struggle. I mean, maybe, you know, if this video gets enough demand, eh, I will probably do this like a Nuzlocke challenge, no damage. I'll try my best to do it. You know, I'm pretty sure with enough practice, it's definitely plausible. Um, if I really, really tried hard enough, I, I could do it for sure, but you know, we'll just have to wait and see if it's something that you guys really want to see. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and buy an extra life. And I will see you guys uh, over there at that tower. As you can see, that's going to be where the next boss is. But I have to go buy a one-up thing or extra HP. So I'll meet you guys there. And as you can see, the door is still sealed, meaning I've never even broken the golden seal of Cappy. And here it is. Mecha Wiggler. My least anticipated boss to battle because he's definitely going to be the toughest so if you guys don't remember we battled this guy in the metro kingdom this time around he's going to be harder there's not one mecha wiggler there is two mecha wigglers and they're psychopaths they're extremely fast and uh they're just they're just ready to kill you so i'm gonna just you know stay out of their way just like that you know go ahead and do your thing wiggler guys you know it's all good. Whatever floats your boat. Oh, no, 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 no. Go ahead, guys. Do your thing, Wiggler, man. Okay, so is he done? Is he going to be on the ceiling, on the roof of things? Where are you going? Where are you going? Are they going to meet up again? Oh, there they go. Okay, so pretty much what you we need to do is you need to shoot all of these things down. Um, oh, gosh, these things will come at you. And if they do, you have to deflect them back. Um, oh, my gosh. How is it this hard to hit those things, bro? I guess it's a lot harder than it looks. All right, I gotta. Oh! No, that sucks. All right, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. There you go. I gotta hit the last one. Oh my gosh! How is it this hard? There you go. We did it. So that was one hit. So pretty much, I have to do this uh, two more times or one more time. I don't remember. It could be once or twice. We'll try it. Hopefully, it'll be just one more time, and you know, I could be done with this. All right, let's see. Where's he coming at from? Oh, 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 no! Ah! Dude, these guys get so close, man. 
All right, where are they coming at from this time? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh no! 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 Dude, that is so close. These guys get so close to me. Oh, here they come again. Here they come again. Here they come again. All right, whatever, whatever, whatever. Oh! There you go. Okay, where are you guys going now? Back to the walls? All right, so I'm going to just go ahead and break these things. Oh, gosh. That's the problem about these things is that they'll just come at you. All right, whatever. Fine, I'll go ahead and uh, deal with it. You know, whatever. It's all good. Whatever. It's fine. I'll go ahead and replenish my HP anyways. All right. Woohoo! Woohoo! Come on! We did it! Is that was that was it? It was! It was only two hits! Man! If I was certain of this, I would have definitely taken my my time and it would have would have been like way more precautious doing it. It's actually not that bad, man. I guess I hyped it up in my head, making it seem like it was gonna be like this near impossible thing, but it actually was pretty easy. So with that, we are done. We have one more boss to take on. And honestly, this boss, I'm not really too concerned about. Um, all the, the major concerns I had, I've gotten out of the way. So I'm going to go ahead and buy, once again, one more, uh, you know, extra round of lives. And I will meet you guys at the moat once we've drained it. Because it's filled, again. Because that's what happens every time you reset the game, the moat gets filled. I wonder, can I just swim? I can swim inside of it. Wow, I didn't even need to drain the moat. I could just swim right through the warp pipe because Mario could do that, apparently. But the last one that we have to battle is the dragon from Crumbled In. And uh, this is, uh, you know, going to be an exciting boss. I wanted to save this one for the last because, honestly, in my opinion, he was the hypest boss I've seen in the game. You know, like, come on, man. Seeing Bowser on a dragon just, you know, it came as a shocker to me, and I wasn't expecting it to be in the game. But it was dope, and I'm glad that they put him in the game. And wow, I could already tell they made this a little bit different. It's like the whole ground that I'm on is, like, slippery. So it definitely is a little bit trickier. You could tell for sure. All right, and then now he's going to go ahead and then do his little... You know, electricity thingamajiggas. All right, that's fine. And then once he's done, go ahead and just, you know... Oh, oh, come on. There you go. Come on, come on. And ground pound his head. It worked. So you got to do this pretty much two more times. Now, the third time, it does get kind of difficult because uh, the amount of time he gives you to recover... Oh, it's actually not that much. But luckily for me, there was a heart there. So I'm hoping that the rest of these things also have hearts. Dang it. Dang it, my friend. I mean, it doesn't even matter, to be honest. Oh, there is a heart. Very nice. All right. Come on. Get the heart. There you go. There you go. All right. Come on. Get up there. That's one. Oh, come on. That's two. That's three. That's three. That's four. Come on. Oh, we did it. He was already turning purple, meaning he was about to become electrified again. But I barely saved myself. All right. Now I just gotta get this. Hopefully it's a heart. Oh, it's a heart, dude. That is amazing how they put so many hearts here. I mean, I guess they expected this to be nothing short of, you know, hard. Um, all right, there you go. Just, you know, I gotta, this time around for sure, I have to stay as close as I can to him. Very nice. Because the thing is, as you can see, he is already almost, oh, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Break, 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 break. Oh, we did it. We freaking did it, guys. I am. You know, not really that shocked. I underestimate myself a lot, and this is one of those times where I've underestimated myself. So, wow, look at how beautiful the moon looks and how beautiful the clouds look. This is easily one of the, you know, craziest settings for a boss fight in a Mario game. Definitely one of my favorites, I'm not gonna lie. But again, I'd have to give the vote to Luncheon Kingdom's boss. I mean, I really like the colors in that kingdom. I love the fact that you're playing as a lava ball. I love that the bird is, you know, spinning durians at you. Kind of reminds me of Breath of the Wild every time I see it. And, you know, anytime I'm rem reminded of Breath of the Wild, it's a good thing because, you know... It's a great game, man. It's a great game. So, that is going to be it, guys. We are done. Um, what does that mean for the next episode? Well, pretty much, it means next time 
we're going to beat the game. That's right, the rest of the game. Now, obviously, we haven't collected all of the power moons in the game yet. There's still a couple kingdoms that are missing some power moons. Like, for example, uh, the jump rope challenge that I didn't do in uh, Metro Kingdom. The volleyball challenge that I didn't do in the Seaside Kingdom. The circuit racing that I didn't do in the Snow Kingdom. All of that stuff, like I said, I was going to do off screen. So, don't expect to see any footage of that in the LP tomorrow. Um... So, tomorrow, pretty much what I'm going to do is, there's a couple Power Moons, for example, in the Lake Kingdom that I'm going to do, complete it off 100%. There is the Metro Kingdom, there's one Power Moon here that I haven't done yet that I will be doing. Uh, the Snow Kingdom, there's also one Power Moon. The Seaside Kingdom, there's nothing. Uh, and then everything else after that, we've pretty much beaten. And then obviously, this Kingdom, which we have yet to beat. And the remaining ones are actually Hat Icon, Fashion Icon, and World Warper. Travel through Warp Holes. So, this is obviously something we'll have done in the next episode as well. And we're going to be, we're going to be doing the darker side of the moon. Which is, in fact, the final level of the game. So, tomorrow, you'll pretty much see... The episode will be completing the entire game 100% and there will be nothing left aside from maybe collecting the costumes or I'll even purchase the costumes on screen. I'd have to grind for the coins though in order to have enough coins to do that. So uh, tomorrow we're completing the game. I'm very excited about this. If you guys are also excited, once again, don't forget to drop a like and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.